Hi there, this is Mr. Smith, and also known as 1T, which is my nickname. Anyway, in this video, I will be showing you how to introduce yourself or to do an introduction in eCampus. So go ahead and click on Introductions. Notice here it says, Briefly introduce yourself. Please consider including the following. Why are you here at Brookhaven College? We're actually called Dallas College Brookhaven Campus now. Um, and then second, an introduction to you, your interest, etc. Maybe you want to talk about your family. Uh, you know, what are the things that you're into? Whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Number three, thoughts about math. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Maybe you have a question about this course or thoughts on this course or any other comments on math. And then finally, comment on how the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted you and or your family. So I think that's certainly something we can all relate to now. And um, I really hope that um, nobody's been through any really terrible things, but I realize that's quite possible. So please just share what you're comfortable sharing. Um, do keep your posts rated G. And finally, again, I wanna thank you for your willingness to share your introduction. All right, so to do your introduction, you'll click on this link and you can see create thread. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put in an example of an introduction. So we'll call it introduction example, Mr. Smith. And I've already done it and I'm gonna paste it in. So you can read a little bit more about me there if you would like. And now it's very possible that you may wanna put in a picture or maybe a picture of your you and your dog or Anyway, so you have the option to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my photo, insert local files, and it's down here somewhere, Scott's photo. And it's a little bit big, so let me resize this thing. All right, and so now let's go down here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a link to my video introduction. So you could have your video on YouTube or somewhere else and you could link to it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, introduction video. And so let me go ahead and show you how you do that. So you highlight the words and then you click on this link here. I need to actually go get it in YouTube so let me copy this and paste it in. And then I'm going to put it in a new window. I think that's, I've been told that's a better way to do it. So let's do that. And so you can see I've linked my video introduction to this page. So the other way you can do it, although I'm not, I haven't really used this, is notice there's, when you add content, that was that same button. Click on YouTube video. And if you know the name, the exact name of the video, you could probably get it through that and insert it that way. And I think it actually shows a picture of the video and, and you could um, click on the picture to watch the video. All right, so let me get out of here. So again, I just used this add content button and you know, while we're in here, we might as well maybe put in an emoji. You know, pick some emoji, emoji that reflects how you're feeling today or just who you are, whatever. I'm going to put in this guy here, feeling pretty good today. It's nice and sunny outside. I'm feeling kind of relaxed. I'm a cool dude today. All right, so I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to submit. And so now, to get around, to go back, you just click on this button here. So remember, this is where we were when we first came in. If you click on Introductions, you can see mine, and then there's going to be several others as well. So for you, again, you'll start by creating thread. But the other thing you can do is click on any other student's introduction, and then notice you can reply to it. Now I have the ability to edit or delete mine. I don't think you have the ability to delete yours, 
but when you edit it you can take out whatever you don't want and so you can reply to to mine or other students and then again you can create your own by just clicking on create thread all right so i think that's all you need to know um, again thank you for doing a video or an introduction have a great day